hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to do this look for you guys i saw it on tierra walker and i absolutely fell in love with it so if you want to know how i got this done just stay tuned so now i'm going in with my bh cosmetics palette i'm just using um just a brown nothing special about it just using a brown to create a base and i'm just going to apply that in the crease and pretty much all over the lid and just blend that through <music> plum purple that I fell in love with I think it's so pretty I'm just gonna blend it out on the outer corner of my eye and in the crease dragging that all the way to the front as you can see it's from the same palette everything from this look on the eye is going to be done from the same palette so it's very easy and straightforward guys i'm just going to pat that onto my lid as you can see that i'm doing and um, i'm going to do so for both eyes <laughs> and i'm just going to like pat it through and just really put it in the crease using the excess product from my previous brush I'm just gonna blend it in this is why I always do my eyes first so that I can wipe away the excess product that does fall out on the skin I'm using blackjack by MAC and I'm applying it with this eyeliner brush that I got from Superdrug the reason why I am using the gel pot today is because I haven't got glitter on my eyes and I just prefer using gel pots. The only time, or yeah, I think pretty much the only time I use um, liquid eyeliners is when I've got glitter, simply for the fact that I find that it's easier to apply with the glitter. The gel sometimes makes it really messy and mucky and clumpy, so yeah, just use a, use a liquid um, eyeliner if you're going over glitter however it's completely up to you down to your preference and I just prefer gel pots Vintinelli eyelashes by VN Lux. These are available to purchase from vnlux.com. foundation stick in color truly topaz i'm going to use that in some areas of my face and then i'm going to use black opals beautiful bronze in other areas of my face i do this because um it's hard to get a foundation that matches my skin tone so i just mix the two So I've listened to you guys and I've tried out the NARS concealer. For those of you that recommended it to me, I thank you so much. This concealer is the bay of life. I love it so much. It's creamy. Um, it's actually got really, really, really good coverage. And it gives me that balm popping highlight. So shout out to you guys that recommended it to me. So I'm just going to use the Real Techniques stippling brush just to sort of work that into my skin and to get that nice and evenly bent. Bleh. 
<laughs> nice and evenly blended out um for you guys that that's ooh, what is wrong with my speech for those of you that has asked me um you know do i like blending um sponges that beauty blender stuff i don't mind it i just don't particularly like the result that it gives me but i did go out and buy another one so in my next few videos i will use it and um, you guys will see the outcome so i've been reading through my comments and i've actually noticed that a few of you guys asked me is it compulsory to first contour with a um with a concealer before using a powder and no it's not it's not by force to use a concealer to contour beforehand i do so because i like quite a sharp dramatic look you guys know this i'm not really one to do natural looks but if you are one to do natural looks so you don't necessarily like how it how how sharp it looks then go ahead and just use a powder contour you don't need the first contour with a darker concealer to get that extra depth and dimension so now i'm going to set my highlight with max loose powder in color medium or medium dark i'm not too sure but i will list it um i'm just using a regular sponge that i got from the pound store just to apply that on all the areas that i want to be highlighted well not to be highlighted all the areas that i want to set where i applied the highlight concealer so now i'm just going to line my lips with chestnut by mac wearing stone at least once this used to be my favorite lipstick i actually remember when it first came out and i bought it straight away but um it's still one that i love not my favorite but i still do love it and it goes really well with this look so i made a list of all the products that you guys recommended to me and one of them was a sephora face powder so when i went to france a few weeks ago i popped into sephora and i bought it and i think it's amazing i actually really really love it the coverage is not that bad and it wasn't that expensive at all now um the reason as to why i bought it in france is because here in the uk we don't actually do sephora so now I'm contouring with CoverGirls Bronzer in shade Ebony. This can be purchased from Lust Cosmetics. They're based in the UK and they stock American products, which can be hard to get hold of when you're in the UK. So here's the end result guys, I really hope you enjoyed this look. Please subscribe, like and comment and tell me what you want to see next. See you later, bye!